friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a field, there's horses behind me. We're at the Eden Mills Writers Festival. We're not at it right now, we're in a parking lot that's in a field. We're gonna get there soon though. There are a number of authors here that I might get a chance to meet, I'm really excited. I'm gonna pull out the books that I brought to hopefully get signed. <laughs> it's hair in my mouth. This is a disaster. These people, let's see if we can find them. We're gonna hear them talk, we're gonna buy stuff, we're gonna get signatures, we're gonna have a great day because it's really nice outside. All right, to the festival. So just when we went to go find the bathroom, um, we found James Gordon, who's a musician. He has a book out now, but he wrote one of my favorite songs, Forever Sheree, which is probably copyrighted and I can't play it, but that was pretty cool. Brian took some footage of him while I peed. When I turned 40, I decided to switch careers. So what's cool about the Eden Mills Writers Festival is that this is all just the town of Eden Mills. Hi, Ryan. Like, we just do a quick pan. These are people's homes, and the entire town kind of just shuts down for the weekend, uh, one of the first weekends of September, for the festival. And that's like, the only reason people know the town of Eden Mills is for this festival. And it's very beautiful here. So we're gonna walk down the main stretch now. We're gonna stop at the bookseller booth. It is hosted by the bookshelf, which I've filmed in before. They're located in Guelph, Ontario, and I've filmed there. These socks are from there. <laughs> Let's see what they have to offer. Brian just found a first edition of The Last Dark Tower in hardcover with gorgeous art, so we are getting this. It's $50, but that is okay. What do you write? Morning, noon, and night. Carolyn, uh, early to rise, early to bed, uh, right first thing in the morning. Uh -huh. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, wherever, in a parked car, anywhere. Oh, really? Do you pull out your notebook and start to write? Yeah, because if you're bringing kids to lessons, sometimes there's a 50 minute time slot there. You'll lose time if you drive somewhere else, and then flip open the computer and go back to the chair. Right. Yeah, first thing in the morning before I uh, convince myself to do something else is it. I'm Corazana Doctor, and I'm an author and psychotherapist, and I'm also someone who gets very excited about ghosts and magic and the supernatural. Today, writers Marianne Micros, Lilika Rebenta, and Emily Urquhart will discuss all this and more as they give us a glimpse into the magic that can be found in the everyday. Today I'd like to recognize and offer our respect to the Atawanderan people and the Mississaugas of the New Credit on whose traditional territory the village of Eden Mill resides. And as for the land, um, even though this is a fictional novel, it's, it, it, is situated in our very real places and there was no way it would have been possible or ethical for me to situate this person's life in High Prairie, Alberta without talking about the very real history of that place. That's funny. You go onto a land that has lost those kin, that's haunted land. You go onto land that is violent, that has been inflicted on it, you're you're walking on on the land. Okay, that's on the not on me. Working on the movie of this one at the moment. I'm to work out how much child I don't know. 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 I don't know.
Ever since we found the Stephen King book, I just, nothing fits in the bag anymore. So I'm just carrying Bad Cree around, but that's fine because it was signed. I tried to go and get James Gordon's uh, autograph, but he just left. He was just gone. <laughs> so, never mind. Sad for me, but at least we got to see him from afar. That was fun. Pretty close at the end. I have Frobisher Bay stuck in my head. So do I. I'm gonna drop it and then ruin its value. <laughs> I'll hold it. <laughs> you take it. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna stay to see Michelle Minsterling, uh, but it's hot and her panel's not for a couple of hours. So we saw everything else we wanted to see and we found some books and had a great time. So we are gonna head out and get some lunch and change. Goodbye, Eden Mills Writers Festival. We had fun. By the way, I don't know if you guys heard that little snippet of insider info from Emma Donahue, but they're making a movie out of Pull of the Stars, uh, and it's in the works right now. And they're wondering how much birth can be in it, because that book is 100% about birth going wrong. I'm so out of breath. I'm gonna film a new outro because it was too loud before. Before I go, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell icon so you know when I upload new videos. I upload two times a week. I love you guys. Goodbye. Bye.